Hi guys, welcome back to In Case of Econ Struggles. Welcome to another exporting results struggle. Today we're gonna to be making this lovely table right here where we have summary statistics by group. So again, this is gonna be based on the auto data set where we have a foreign variable or foreign binary variable. We're gonna use that variable to make two separate columns so that we can compare the domestic versus foreign cars along these four dimensions. So you'll notice this table looks really nice. We've got summary statistics as a note and we've got our source in the bottom. So unsurprisingly, we're gonna start very similar to how we did before. Remember, we're still gonna use this ES to clear to make sure we're only outputting the results that we're doing in this program. We've got our path and our out file. And I'm going to go ahead and read in this auto data set and then I'm going to do our tab stat just like we did before. Notice that now instead I'm going to do by this foreign variable so that it's going to make a nice little table. I'm gonna put no total because I don't need totals. I just want the two categories separate. So I'll go ahead and run this, and you can see that we've got domestic and foreign, and we've got the numbers for the mean, standard deviation, min, max, and count, all that we've specified in this statistics option here. The other thing I want you to notice is that currently this is vertical, and we want it to be horizontal. What does that mean? Well, when we saw that table, we saw that price miles per gallon, weight, and length were the rows, and then domestic and foreign were the two different columns. So we're gonna use an unstat command in our S tab command. The other thing I wanna talk about is that before we've been using this cell option here, and I'm just gonna highlight this different option called main, where we're gonna have basically our main number be on top, and then we're gonna put our auxiliary statistic on the bottom in parentheses. And once again, all this code is available in the description, and I've got comments for each of these options. Most of the options are gonna be very similar. The only thing that we're adding here is unstack, because we wanna unstack this and make it two separate columns. The other main change that we're making in this program is we're not gonna name column labels, they're gonna be equations. Why are they equations? Because Stata is sort of treating this domestic and this foreign like two separate equations or two separate sets of estimates. And so we wanna label the equations or the estimates and not the columns. And finally, we still have the same note option that we did before and we're all ready to go. Now I've also put in the description the old way, the cell way that we've been doing in the previous videos, where we put the mean formatted and standard deviation in parentheses in this cell option instead of the main and ox. Both versions will work well. Feel free to experiment if you would like. But now I'm just gonna run all of this together at once just to make sure it works. And then if we go up, we can see once again that we've output this file. You can see that we have this exact table that we just saw in the document and we're all ready to put this into Overleaf. So hopefully this just gives you a real quick idea and some starter code for how to make that nice summary statistics table by group. If this was helpful, make sure to like and subscribe and we will see you next time for another case of Econ Struggles.